this is a, 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 a very interesting topic nowadays, the, the active surveillance in prostate cancer, because in the guidelines, finally this year, there was a big change and active surveillance is the only treatment option in glisson grade one tumors. And in glisson grade two tumors, there's a profile of patients that can benefit from active surveillance, which of course is not a treatment. Active surveillance is um, a strategy that we do in order to preserve quality of life, in order to avoid over treatment, and in order to delay the, the 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 treatments options that we have in, in prostate cancer. So we had a discussion on active surveillance in glisson grade two tumors, and um, which were those features that might help us to select these patients for active surveillance. For example, having a four pattern lower than 10%, having low number of course, having a PSA below 10, having a negative MRI are patients that we know that probably will go well during an active surveillance. This doesn't mean that having a positive MRI, it's a, a patient that should not undergo active surveillance, but we know that those that have a positive MRI probably will have higher risk of progression. But the main thing is to know that active surveillance is a valid tool that we should offer our patients in grade two tumors.